Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create ease in and ease out text animation in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create ease in and ease out text animation in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, as you can see, I've already imported my demo video in the editor. So right now I don't need this video. So let me just turn off the visibility of this video by clicking on this eye icon which is present on the extreme left. Perfect. Now the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to create five text objects in the timeline. And so to do that, go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option, which is set the same size as the parent has. Now let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say New York and let me just center align my text by clicking right here. Perfect. I would also like to decrease the duration of my text object in the timeline. So currently the duration of my text object is 16 seconds, 700 milliseconds. So let me just reduce the duration to just three seconds. Perfect. Now let me just place the cursor at two seconds right here. And let me just add my second text object. So let me just go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your second text object on top of the screen like this. And once again, click on this option, which is set the same size as the parent has. Now, let me just write some text inside my second text box. So let me just write, let's say, let's say London. And let me just, first of all, place the cursor a little to the right, right here. And now let me just center align my text. So let me just select my text, then go to paragraph and center align it by clicking right here. Perfect. I would also like to decrease the duration of this second text object to three seconds. So let me just write 03 inside the duration option and press enter. Perfect. Now let me just place the cursor at four seconds in the timeline. Perfect. And let me just now add my third text object. So let me just go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your third text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option, which is set the same size as the parent has. Now let me just place the cursor a little to the right and now let me just write some text inside my third text box. So let me just write, let's say Paris. And let me just center align my text by clicking right here. Perfect. I would also like to decrease the duration of this third text object to three seconds. So let me just write 03 inside the duration option and press enter. Perfect. Now let me just place the cursor at six seconds in the timeline. Perfect. And now let me just go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your fourth text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option, which is set the same size as the parent has. Now place the cursor a little to the right and double click on this fourth text box and let's write some text. So let me just write, let's say Dubai. Perfect. And let me just center align my text by clicking right here. Perfect. And let me also once again, decrease the duration of my fourth text object to three seconds. Perfect. And finally, let me just place the cursor 
at let me just place the cursor at 8 seconds right here and let me just add my final text object so let me just go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your fifth text object on top of the screen like this and click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has now place the cursor a little to the right double click on the fifth text box and let me just write let's say Mumbai perfect now let me just center align my text by clicking right here let me also decrease the duration of my fifth text object to three seconds perfect so this was just the setup so if i just quickly play the video for you i have with me five text objects in the timeline and they are overlapped one on top of the other by one second perfect now what i would like to do is just to avoid confusion let me just select all the text objects like this and let me just right click and then click on this option which is convert to sprite perfect and now double click on the sprite object and double click on the first text object which you have created perfect now let me just go to video effects go to transitions select select push and then click on ok now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window type is set to door so change this from door to side and mode is right to left so change this from right to left to left to right and directly set to false so change this from false to true inside the gradient length option currently the value is 50 percent so change this from 50 percent to zero so if I just quickly play the video for you okay before I play the video let me just place the push transition right at the beginning like this and now if I just quickly play the video perfect now we will add a second push transition so let me just go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok now look inside the push settings once again type is already set to side mode is left to right so change the mode from left to right to right to left directly is set to false so that's fine and gradient length is set to zero percent so that's fine as well now let's go back inside the sprite object and let me just double click on the second text object right here and go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok now look inside the push settings type is set to side mode is right to left so change this from right to left to left to right directly set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is already set to zero percent now place the push transition right at the beginning like this so if i just quickly play the video for you here comes my first text then that goes here comes my second text perfect now we just need to repeat the process so double click on the second text object go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok look inside the push settings type is set to side mode is left to right so change this from left to right to right to left directly set to false gradient length is zero percent perfect go back to the sprite object double click on the third text object go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok look inside the push settings type is set to side mode is right to left so change this from right to left to left to right directly set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is already set to zero percent now place the push transition right at the beginning like this perfect 
Now go to video effects once again, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Look inside the push settings, type is set to side, mode is left to right. So change the mode from left to right to right to left. Directly set to false, gradient length is 0%. Perfect. Go back to the sprite object, double click on the fourth text object. Go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now look inside the push settings, type is set to side, mode is right to left. So change this from right to left to left to right. Directly set to false, so change this from false to true. Gradient length is already set to 0%. So place this push transition right at the beginning like this. And let me just go to video effects once again, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Look inside the push settings, type is set to side, mode is left to right. So change this from left to right to right to left. Directly set to false, gradient length is 0%. Perfect. And finally, go back to the sprite object and double click on the fifth text object and go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Look inside the push settings, type is set to side, mode is right to left. So change this from right to left to left to right. Directly is set to false, so change this from false to true. Gradient length is set to 0%, so that's fine. Now place the push transition right at the beginning like this. And since this is the last text object, we will add a fade out effect at the end. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade out and then click on OK. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the beginning. So this is the ease in and ease out text animation. Perfect. Perfect. And now I would like to turn on the visibility of my video. So let me just select my video. And let me just click on this eye icon once again to turn on the visibility of my video. And so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the beginning. Perfect. So this is how you can create ease in and ease out text animation in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.